Hello, I'm Jerry Fort, the beer review guy. I have a uh, Coney Island Brewing Company Hard Orange Cream Ale. Thought it looked kind of good, kind of flavorful. See if we can find the orange in it when it says Hard Orange Cream Ale. Hopefully there's some orange taste in it. It says on the bottle, Unexpected concoctions you only find on the boardwalk. Are you tall enough to ride? In amalgamation of orange, vanilla, and spice inspired by inspired by the deliciously oh okay unexpected concoctions you only find on the boardwalk okay i read it wrong all right orange and vanilla spice all right let's see the date it's notched at uh, september of 2016 <clears throat> best when fresh drink before the notched date it says on the back, now get your tickets here. It's a small price for a thrilling escape. Buckle up, passengers, and hang on to your hats. We're on a steep track to bring you back to the boardwalk. Coney Island, where anything is possible if, you, if you're ready to take the ride. Um, it's an ale made with natural flavors and caramel. Color added contains alcohol, 5%. 12 fluid, 12 fluid ounces. And let's see. Um, from the Coney Island site, um, it actually says the same thing I just read on this bottle. Um, no score from Beer Advocate or the Bros. Rate Beer gave it a 10 of overall and a 7 in style. So those are kind of low scores, but let's see what we get here. Hmm. It smells like a, uh, well, you can smell the vanilla. You can smell the little, the little orange, uh, what is that I'm thinking of? <clears throat> I don't know if everybody's heard of Shasta. Shasta Pops, I think they were, they had all different kinds of flavors and and they had a, uh, oh man, what was it, like an, it was an orange something. I can't remember what it was, but this smells like that. It smells sweet. Let's see what, what it uh, smells like out of the glass. I'm gonna go try to go a little aggressive here. Like butterscotch. It has a hint of like a butterscotch smell to it. And kind of a almost a ginger ale look. Kind of a ginger ale pop look. It's very carbonated. The head is gone. Yeah. Butterscotch. Vanilla. The orange a little bit in there. Very creamy smelling. Vanilla. I already said that. It smells like a... <clears throat> like an orange vanilla pop or something. Soda pop. There's the beer taste. A little bit of the malty beer taste. Taste of that alcohol just a little bit. It's only 5%, but I still could pick it up. Vanilla. Mm. Very sweet. Sweet up front, sweet on the back end.
Mouthfeel is a creamy. Has a slight carbonation burn, not that much. Tastes like something else too. I can't can't pick it up. <clears throat> can't think of it. Anyway, it's a good flavored cream ale. Hard orange cream ale. There's the front. Looks like a like a uh, a dessert type um, uh, frothy drink you'd get like at a circus or or the fair or something like that. It's got roller coasters going around a a creamy orange looking glass. The the drink in it is a creamy colored. But uh, yeah, that's pretty neat. Just has a circus. It's got a Ferris wheel um, right there. Uh, anyway. Yeah, it was an enjoyable little drink. I'll sip on this the rest of the night. Not something you want to just like drink straight down unless you want to vomit. It's just too it's too rich and too sweet to do that. But anyway, let me know if you've tried this and what you thought of it. Okay, well we'll end this here at almost seven minutes. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye.